I've got um, two guinea fowl that were injured in here, attacked by the dog. And in there's a roosting uh, chicken, not a roosting chicken, a plucky chicken um, hatching some sea bright eggs. So they've got food, they've got water on this side. It's a small cage and it gets covered up. It gets air through it, but I've got like a cover so it can get quite dark for them, so they can just rest. Because mm. this little one, the little grey one, his wing has dropped. The little chocolate one I thought was going to die. And I wrapped him in a towel, both boys, and just cuddled him for ages. A oh, shawl, and I put the shawl over his head so he wasn't scared. And he pecked me a lot when I <laughs> unwrapped him. And then the little um, uh, pearl grey, I got in pretty quickly. They have got a, a perch here. This is my sick bay cage or hatching cage. Yeah, um, it's a long story. I need to make a video on it about the dog attacking the guineas. She only does it if I'm here or um, my daughter's here or there's other dogs here and it's really bad because she was perfect when we weren't here. Um, but we need to be here so it's a bit of a, I'm starting all over again with the training. Well not all over again, just retraining. She's out with me now while I'm feeding everyone. She's basically inside with me. If Like I'm just supervising her constantly except at night. 